With Halloween fast approaching, the race to find the perfect costume is upon us. Yet can the pressure be too much for some people? Research shows that almost one third of women's costumes use explicit descriptive terms such as saucy, sexy, raunchy, naughty and tease. This is in comparison to terms such as funny, wacky and crazy for the male counterparts. We spoke to Constance Keane, chairperson of DIT's Gender Equality Society, XY, about how she feels the sexualisation of Halloween can have a negative effect on young women. I find it really interesting that Halloween has become a different thing for males and females. Um, I don't really understand why that has happened because I think that it's gotten more and more extreme as time has gone on. Um, I think that it's another example of like women being expected to fit into a specific role. Um, I think that there's very like little alternatives when it comes to what a woman should dress up as for Halloween, you're automatically expected to fill this sexy role. I also think it's really interesting to think about what does sexy mean? Because we're given this impression that sexy just means less clothes. So there's there's one thing that's sexy. Because it's once again, it's it's feeding young girls into this role. It's It's saying that you being sexually attractive is the most important thing about you dressing up to have a good time. I think it's really interesting that when you look at what it means for guys, language like funny is used and stuff. And that's the complete opposite when it comes to what, what a girl is meant to be. And I think that for young girls growing up and when they see like the the level of sexualized costumes for women, like it's, it is, just, there's an abundance. Um, and I think when they see that, it, it is really damaging because they're, it, it is the kind of idea that if you don't fit into this and if you don't do this, you are lame or you're not fitting into like what's cool or the done thing or anything like that. And I do think that's it's another example. I mean, that happens with loads of things across society, but it, it is another expectation put on young women in particular to be like a, a, a sex object. Well, like, I don't mind dressing up like that, but I think other people, if they want to go for something more conservative, it's seen as a bit lame. Yeah. It's a bit slutty sometimes when I see them wearing them short dresses and shit. Yeah, it's all like you're pressurised to be like the tarty type, so like you can't go as like a banana, for instance, where the lads can, so it's kind of annoying because like you don't always want to do that. You don't want to be showing, so. This probably has no impact whatsoever on me because I've zero interest in it. I don't think it's any difference to me, but I think it's an excuse for women to wear a half nut. yeah. Uh, I think the girls are like all wear like all... Uh, what's Sporty. the word? <laughs> yeah. Sporty is the word. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's the word? More revealing clothes uh, yeah. than what lads do. And but do you think that's their choice or just feel like they have yeah, to do that? That's their choice. Yeah. They, could, they can wear like a... Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't think it is because the outfits that girls have got are very like limited.